This is problem number 8 from section 2.3. In this problem it says for the given function f of x, the point c and a positive number e, or epsilon I should say, find l equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x. Then find a number delta greater than 0 such that for all x, 0 is less than absolute value of x minus c, so less than delta, which implies the, f of, the absolute value of f of x minus the limit is less than epsilon. Okay. So they tell us to find this first, and then they want us to find a delta second. So let's find the limit first. So we want the limit as x approaches c for our function. Well, they said x approaches c, so that's We'll just write it out this way, and then we'll say, all right, that means L equals the limit as X approaches 3 of 2 minus 2X. Well, because this is a linear or polynomial, however you want to you want to define it, we know that linears or polynomials are defined at every X value. So we can go ahead and just plug that in and say that this is equal to 2 minus 2 times 3 which is 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So our L value is negative 4. So our L value, meaning our limit, is negative 4 as x approaches 3. Okay, then we can actually use this and do just like we've done in the other problems to find delta. We start by looking at our graph. And it's 2 minus 2x. I'm just going to draw a straight line because it's more like the conceptual Thing that we need to worry about uh, and maybe we'll draw this let's actually scratch this out and let's draw this in the other quadrant because we know our limit is negative 4 oh whoa, whoa, whoa. my bad both of those let's go ahead and draw it down here this is a limit of negative 4 we're gonna be looking like so uh, we're going to call this the line, and then we're going to name this C is 3, so this is the value of 3, and we're looking for an interval, right, like we've been doing in the previous problems, and that interval needs to straddle this limiting value, which is negative 4, and they tell us our epsilon is 0.01, and this is 0.01, and we're looking for these delta values here. All right, we want to know the delta value that will produce basically a tolerance that's within this epsilon value of 0.01. Well, how do we start this? Well, we're going to start with epsilon and work our way backwards to find these x values. So we're going to start with the absolute value of f of x minus l less than epsilon. So we say absolute value of f of x minus L is less than epsilon. So the function that we use is obviously 2 minus 2x. Minus L, which we just found is negative 4, so minus negative 4, is less than our epsilon value, which is 0.01. That means when we combine some stuff inside there, we end up with this is positive 4, so we end up with 6 minus 2x, absolute value, less than 0.01. I'm going to set that equal to 0.01, so absolute value of 6 minus 2x equals 0.01. And I like to write this out, then use the number line to do the inequality. So we're going to say 6 minus 2x equals 0.01, or... 6 minus 2x equals negative 0.01. Let's subtract 6. We get negative 2x equals, when we subtract 6, you get negative 5.99. We're going to divide by negative 2. And we get 2.995. Or subtract 6, and we're going to get 
negative 2x equals negative 6.01 divide by negative 2 and we get 3.005 alright what's that mean that means this value here is 3.005 this value here is 2.995 now the solutions are going to lie between them because when we check 3, so if I drew a number line and put 3, 3.005 and 2.995, I take 3, plug it in. When I plug 3 here, I get 2 minus 6, because 2 times 3, so that's negative 4. And then minus negative 4, that'd be plus 4, so I end up with 0, absolute value of 0, less than 0.1, yes. So they run from here to here. So our, and they don't ask us for the interval here, but our interval for x values would run from 2.995 to 3.005. What they ask us for, though, is delta. All right, so don't forget this was part A. For part B now, we need to figure out what's a delta. Well, what's the difference between 2.995 and 3? That's point zero zero 0.005. And what's the difference between 3.005 and 3? Well, that's point zero zero 0.005. So for part B, delta is point zero zero 0.005.